Good morning, one and all. Myself, Dr. Wasdev. I'm working as a assistant professor in Department of ECE, Malarid Engineering College, Hyderabad. Now, I am going to presenting on low power VLSI circuit design. <clears throat> Now we will see structure of the talk. We will discuss about what is low power circuit design and what is the use or where we need to use low power circuit design and uh, different type of sources of power dissipations. That is uh, basically power dissipation is in the form of three types. One is statical power dissipation and dynamic power dissipation and circuit, short circuit power dissipation that we will discuss in the next class and uh, how to overcome this uh, low power uh, how to overcome this power dissipations and which techniques are required to overcome the power dissipations that we will discuss in this topic clock gating multi voltage and power gating these techniques we have to use to overcome the power dissipations we will see introduction what is vlsc vlsc means very large scale integration that is a process to integrate one ic in that IC, we will combine hundred or thousands or mil billions, billions of transistors in a single chip area. That we will consider as the VLSI. This is the major concern for complex design. Initially, it will start with micro technology, that is one micrometer, two micrometer, three micrometer, etc. After that, it is going to the sub micro technology. Uh, next, it will, it's going on to the deep sub micro technology. Nowadays, it is going into the nanotechnology. Nanotechnology means 180 nanometer, 90 nanometer, 65, 45, so many. This is considered as a nanotechnology. <coughs> These are all <coughs> VLSA technologies. In VLSA technology, we will see in 1965, Moore's proposed a method that is called Moore's law. Gordon Moore's is one of the co founder in Intel. <coughs> the Moore's law means the number of transistors in a single chip area will be doubled in every 18 or 24 months. Why low power VLSA and what is low power circuit design? Low power circuit design, the complete power dissipation, that means static or dynamic power dissipation, we need to reduce in circuit uh, VLSA circuits that we will call as a low power circuits. What is why we need to use this uh, VLS, low power VLS? Nowadays, we have used in mobile phones, 5G technology is introduced into the India. Previously, it is 2G, 3G, 4G. Now it is 5G. When we are increasing the 5G, means the internet speed will be increased. That means bandwidth is increases. That bandwidth increases means the battery usage in a uh, mobile phone or in mobile phone is increases. That means it, it required more power supply so battery is increases we can't increase the um, battery lifetime so we need to increase the battery lifetime based on where we will increase we can increase or we can reduce power displacement in a vlsa chip based on that we can use and when we are increasing uh, battery uh, uses uh, circuits that means when power displacement or power consumption will be increased the cooling procedure also increases for cooling procedure we can increase we can use the additional circuits that means the cost will be increases when we are reducing power dissipation that means the cost also reduces in this criteria we can use low power vlsa what is power and energy power is the transition power in device while energy is the integration of power with time basically we will see there is a two diagrams one is power and another one is energy. In these two, there is two approaches. Wherever power we will consider as a maximum value that we will consider power, approach one and approach two. Both are having different values. But energy, the entire power in a particular time period, entire power dissipation in a particular time period that we will consider as the energy dissipation. So in approach one and approach two, both are having same energy that energy displacement is same so that's the reason battery life is primarily determined by energy consumed and we will see what is the matrix commonly used in terms of power displacement 
one is peak power and another one is average power in peak power consumed by a particular device is highest amount of power it can consume at any time that highest value or peak value that we will consider as a peak power but when the interconnection some interconnection are melting points some glitches will be added in power that also we can consider as a power so that is the main drawback by using peak power but in average power we will take mean of mean of the amount of power it consumes over the time period so highest values we want to consider as a power value the average of that one we will consider as a power value so that's why every vls chips maximum we will consider average power only so types of power dispersion as we discuss about static power dynamic power and uh, short circuit power combination of these three we will consider as a total power dispersion so static power means without any input value is applied to a circuit that is considered that time the circuit having some bias current losses and sub threshold losses these two we will consider as a leakage power dispersion or static power dispersion but our next in dynamic power dispersion when we are applying inputs the output state will be changes the transition state will be changed from either 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 that time the switching losses will be there losses will be considered as a dynamic power dispersion and uh, short circuit power dispersion when the transaction will be changed for example when we will consider cmos inverter that in cmos inverter pmos and nmos at a particular time these two transistors will be on that at that time the vdd will be connected to the ground and uh, that vdd will be passes through nmos and pmos to ground there is a some power dispersion that power dispersion will be considered as a short circuit power dispersion these are the types of power dispersions one is dynamic power dispersion and another one is static power dispersion in dynamic power switching short circuit and glitching static power dispersion sub threshold leakage gate leakage and junction leakage after uh, that uh, in sub threshold leakage there is a drain induced barrier leakage lowering narrow width effect temperature effect channel punch through effect in gate leakage there is a gate oxide tunneling and a hot carrier injection junction leakage reverse bias to junction current band to band tunneling current these all are used different type of power dispersions <laughs> now we will see static and leakage power dispersion in already we have discussed static power dispersion also known as quiescent power is the power consumed by an lp vls circuit when it is in steady state with no input signal without any input signal the dispersion power dispersion will be considered as a static power dispersion it includes bias current flowing through the transistor the leakage current through the transistor and the sub threshold leakage current through the transistor these three will be considered as the sources of static power dispersion and uh, to reduce static power dispersion there are several type of techniques that several techniques is one is transistor sizing when we are reducing transistor sizing then we can reduce the power dispersion and second one is um, power gating power gating means uh, normally we can apply different type of power dispersions disabling power to parts of the car circuit when they are not in use that is called power gating body effect applying a voltage to substrate of the transistor to increase and decrease the threshold voltage of the transistor which can reduce the leakage current that is also one type of technique to reduce the body biasing and second one is low leakage transistor using transistor design to have a less number less leakage current or lower leakage current that type of transistors we can design then it will be reduced the static power dispersion and voltage scaling reducing the supply voltage to reduce the static power dispersion while maintaining performance <coughs> by carefully meaning static power dispersion in lp vls circuits designers can minimize power consumption and uh, extends the battery life of portable devices reduce cooling reduce cooling and uh, requirements and improve the overall efficiency of electronic circuits 
in dynamic power the source when transistor is turned on it allows uh, the source of dynamic power dissipation includes the charging and discharging of the capacitive loads of the circuit the current flowing through the transistor during the switching events and the short circuit current that flows through the transistor during the brief period when both the pull up and pull down transistors are conducting when a transistor is turned on it allows current to flow through it which which charges and discharges the capacitance in the circuit this charging and discharging of the capacitance require energy which contributes to dynamic power dissipation during a switching event both the pull up and pull down transistors in a logic gate may connect simultaneously leading <coughs> leading to a short circuit a short circuit current the short circuit current results in a direct path from the power supply to the ground bypassing the load and thus contributes to dynamic power dissipation finally to reduce dynamic power dissipation in low power vlsi circuit various techniques can be used such as capacitance reduction voltage scaling clock gating pipelining and uh, dynamic voltage and capacitance um, capacitance reduction reducing the capacitance of the circuit by optimizing the interconnects using smaller transistors are uh, reducing the fan out voltage scaling the reducing the supply voltage of the circuit which reduce the energy required to charge and discharge the capacitances clock gating clock gating means disabling clock signals to parts of the circuit when they are not in use and pipelining breaking the circuit into multiple stages to reduce the capacitance and improve the timing of the circuit and uh, when we are using this technique we can reduce uh, dynamic power dissipation by carefully managing dynamic power dissipation in lp vls circuits designers can minimize power consumption and improves the overall efficiency of electronic systems and the switching power dissipation the first and uh, primary source of dynamic power consumption in terms switching power dissipation occurs due to the power required to charging and discharging of the output capacitors on a gate we will see the diagram this is simple cmos inverter when we are applying input is equal to zero <coughs> the pmos will be on and nmos will be off that time capacitor will be charged when we are giving one pmos will be off and nmos will be on that capacitor will be discharged through nmos to ground this time the capacitor will be charged and discharged that time there is a some threshold voltage that threshold voltage we will consider as a loss that is switching power dissipation and it is defined by using formula p equal 1 by 2 c into v square into f here p is switching power dissipation and c is the capacitance of the switch and v is the voltage across the switch and f is the frequency of the switching when we are changing any one of the parameter the power dissipation will be changed based on the parameters and short circuit power dissipation as shown in the diagram <laughs> at a particular time interval v threshold of nmos and vdd minus v threshold of p while the input is switching either from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 both the pmos and nmos transistors remain on at that time the vdd will be connected to the ground and the current will be passes through pmos and nmos to ground that losses will be considered as a short circuit power dissipation and the glitching power glitching means that we will consider as a sudden change in voltage or current in digital circuits that we will consider as a fault or error and or noise glitch can cause the circuit to switch rapidly between different states which can create a significant amount of dynamic power consumption in addition the glitch can cause the circuit to enter a meta stable state in which it oscillates rapidly between different states and consumes even more power in the circuit diagram see both the transistors will be dissipate or generate two inputs one input will be connected directly to the end gate and another will be connected to not gate after that not gate output is connected to the gate in zero delay waveform 
that means there is no delay then a b will be passes like this through uh, based on the clock and the white output y is equal to zero but when we are connected to the <coughs> end gate there is some delay the delay will coming from not gate that not gate is if it is um, some value 0 0.34 that time the output will be generate small one very small amount of output value some delay that is one that we will consider as a glitch that glitch is considered as a power dispenser that is power glitching power dispenser low power design techniques already we discussed about clock gating multi voltage and power gating thank you